today I'm going to talk about the development of the fundamental theorem of differential calculus. Um, the fundamental theorem involves the issue of finding the slope of the tangent to a curve. Now the reason we do this is because the slope of the tangent to a curve, as it changes, tells us a lot about the behavior of the curve. And there's a lot of information we can learn. So this is the issue. How do I find m tan? The problem is that by definition, a tangent line touches the curve once. And we know to find slope, we have to have two points. So right away, we have a problem. Right? Slope of any line is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I only have one point. I can't do this. I'm going to do the next best thing. I'm going to find the slope of a secant line. A secant line, by definition, this is a line that touches, touches the curve in two spots. I'm going to say it touches at point A. And this point, I'm going to call the difference along the x-axis h. So that makes that a plus h. All right? If this is the curve f of x in function notation, that means this point is a and f and a. That means this point is a plus h and f and a plus h. All right. Pretty straightforward. y2 minus y1. There's y2, f and a plus h. Minus y1 f and a. All divided by x2, which is a plus h, minus x1, which is a minus x1. Okay? So that simplifies to f and a plus h minus f and a all over a plus h minus a, of course, is simply h. That's the slope of the tangent line to any curve at any point. That's not what we need, but that's something we know how to find. The issue then of finding the slope of the tangent involves something we've spoken of before, which is limits. The idea of limits meaning, I'm going to make this h really, really small. I'm going to bring this second point, if you think about it, switch color, over to here. So there is still an h there, it's just really, really small this time. Now how do I say really, really small? In math language, I say the limit as that variable goes to zero. It's getting really, really small. That's how I say that. So if I think about it logically, as I make this h really, really small, the secant line becomes almost exactly the tangent line. It looks exactly the same. It falls in exactly the same place. And the smaller I make this h, the more the secant line approximates or represents the tangent line. So, what I can say is that the slope of the tangent line is equal to the slope of the secant line as h gets really small. Remember how I say that? That's how I say that. So that means m tan is equal to h getting really, really small, slope of the secant, which we already know is this. And this is the fundamental theorem of differential calculus. Woohoo! So our goal is for everybody to understand how we get to something like this, as opposed to simply regurgitating a pattern. The comprehension of the basics is all important, and that is what we strive for at Purple Christian College. Thanks.